church. This is your Sunday service. We're so glad to be here today. Let's bless the Lord. Amen. Time is filled with swift transition. some praise in this place where he's worthy to be played. God's unchanging hand Hold to his hand Praise God from whom all blessings flow. For he is a mighty good God. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. We thank God for you. We thank you for uh, your patience and diligence and waiting. Uh, we don't know uh, how technology works and it's so, so flooded. Amen. Uh, on the network and we thank God that he's given us an opportunity to be able to on this day to be able to magnify the Lord uh, once more again another Sunday right here amen with the St. Paul Primitive Baptist Church uh, virtual ministry and we thank God for you for all those that have tuned in this morning we're grateful to God and we give him glory praise and honor right now in the name of Jesus come on give him some praise right now It's prayer time. It's prayer time. We thank God for his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. And for all that he's doing in our lives right now in the name of Jesus. We're grateful to him, for he is worthy to be praised. And just thank him for another day. We thank him uh, for life, health, and strength, and giving us another opportunity just to glorify his name. He has done marvelous things, and he is... Uh, our our savior and our redeemer he is our god the everlasting father eternal god we come right now in the name of jesus right now thanking you for your goodness your grace and your mercy we come master we realize lord that had it not been for you we wouldn't be here today lord we thank you lord because of your grace and your goodness that you saw the see a saw fit this day to embrace us with your divine love that caused our eyes to open to see a brand new day. And we thank you right now, Master. We, we give you honor and glory and praise, and we just worship you right now in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we ask you to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteous and wicked ways, creating us a clean heart of God and renew within us a right spirit, and that we may receive of you this day that what you have prepared for your people by the by the receiving of your word. Heavenly Father, we know that uh, we've been through many dangers and trials and troubles this week, Lord, and but we thank you because you brought us through right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, many, many have, have lost their homes and and they, they've been flooded out of their houses, Lord, but, but yet and still you made a way out of no way. We thank you right now. 
and continue, Lord, to be a shield and a shelter, even in the midst of storms and snowstorms, Lord, and, and many are still without, Lord, but they still have you. Lord, we thank you right now, Lord, for your goodness and your grace and your mercy, but we recognize your almighty hand, Master, and, and we give you praise right now. Heavenly Father, we need a word of encouragement, a word of inspiration for your people on this day, for them to realize that you're God and you're God alone. No matter what we're going through, Lord, you're still in control. And we thank you right now. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because of your grace and your goodness. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for water. We thank you for food. Lord, we thank you for shelter, Lord. We thank you for the provisions that are being made for those that are less fortunate than we are. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let's even in the midst of all that we're going through uh, in, in, this, in this trial, in this trial of, of, of devastation, Lord, we realize, Lord, that there are still those, Lord, that are worse off than we are. And we thank you right now. We pray, Lord, we lift up those that are in the hospitals, those that are in the nursing homes, and those that are incarcerated. Uh, those, Lord, that have been seeking shelter. Those have those that, uh, Lord, you know their needs right now in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Master. And we thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Send now your Holy Spirit in the power of preaching, Lord, that your word may be uh, may be unveiled in their lives, their faith may come alive, Lord, that the day that hear, amen, their faith may come by the hearing of your word, but you said in your word, faith come by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of God. Lord, send now the preacher, because they can't hear without the preacher, Lord, speak through me and speak for me, that your words will flow freely from my lips. Holy Spirit of God, fall fresh on this vessel of clay. Let the words... Let your words flow freely from my lips. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, and all the people of God said, amen, amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise with you for he is worthy to be praised. My, 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 my. Amen. Praise God. We are grateful to God. Amen. We're grateful to him for another opportunity to share with you uh, on this day, uh, the goodness of God. And I realize, Lord, I realize that through all that we've gone through and through all that we have encountered uh, since March of 2020, all the way up until this day, through the devastations and the, the, the trials and the tests that we've come to and and yet we still realize, we have to still realize that God is in control. Amen. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, God is on our side. Tell your neighbor, God is on your side. Tell your neighbor, God is on my side. And as long as we know that God is on our side, we don't have nothing to worry about. And I, I, I just want to, I, I just want to deal with this uh, for a Sunday or two. And I thank God that He's given us uh, a fresh word to help us to realize and recognize uh, that He is uh, on our side. Praise God from whom all blessings. So I want to call your attention uh, to the Book of James, chapter one, Amen, uh, verses twelve through seventeen, and then. Uh, uh, in the closing of this mini-series, uh, we're also going to be looking at Hebrews 11 and 6. And so these, these scriptures uh, read over the next uh, Sunday or two, amen, as the Lord manifests the reality of the fact that he is uh, on our side. Amen. God is on our side. Now, now as I looked at this, as I looked at this, uh, I, I realized, I realized through everything that we're going through, uh, God has has always been able uh, to bring us through. Come on, somebody, uh, and no, and if we don't if we don't recognize anything else, uh, we ought to always know that God is able. Amen, amen. James chapter one, uh, beginning at verse number twelve, it says, "Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for he when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life." which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. 
for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Uh, then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and, and, and uh, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it, it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Let's go to Hebrews 11 and 6. Hebrews 11 and 6 but, says, but without God, but, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Somebody declare he is. He is, amen, uh, 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 and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. And I just wanted you to say it again. God is on our side. Uh, every, every, every one of us, every one of us in this life uh, are in a predicament of temptations or trials. Uh, 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 and in this condition uh, and nature of sin, uh, we are candidates uh, to become qualified uh, for another and better world. Come on, somebody. Uh, matter of fact, with the ability to stand in our trials uh, that we will, that will allow us an opportunity to receive the crown of life. Could look to your neighbor and tell you, we have an opportunity. Uh, 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 and we have an opportunity to receive a crown of life, uh, which the Lord has promised them uh, that love him. Do you love the Lord today? Uh, uh, it is only love to God that can enable uh, and empower us to endure these trials of life. Come on, somebody. You might not realize it, but even through what we've gone through this week right here in the state of Texas and all those things that everybody else is going on, going through around the world and in their lives and even in the midst of still yet in the middle of a pandemic situation, we have to realize that, that God is able, come on, somebody, God is able to empower us uh, to endure these trials uh, that we're going through in this time. I can't get no help. Uh, of his, uh, uh, here, here, uh, uh, James says, blessed is the man who stands uh, in his temptation. Uh, uh, my brothers and sisters, there is no man or woman and in rightful training, boys and girls. Come on, somebody. Who, 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 whom God does not try. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, he tries the rich uh, uh, to see if they will open their hands uh, to the poor. Uh, uh, he tries the poor to see if they will receive uh, ailments, disorder, or trouble uh, and not murmur. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, stop by to tell you if the rich stand in his temptation uh, and give offerings, contribution, or favor to the poor, uh, he shall enjoy his riches in this world and his prominence uh, shall be exalted in the world to come. Uh, and the blessedness of God's holiness uh, shall deliver him from the punishment of hell. Come on somebody. Uh, that's why when Jesus said it's easier, come on somebody, for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to make it into heaven because you have to realize uh, uh, that if they don't open their hand to the poor, a uh, uh, good God almighty, uh, there, there, there is consequences and circumstances and, and if the poor man stands in his temptation uh, look to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I'm standing uh, and do not be unhappy, uh, miserable, upset, or kicked back. Uh, he shall have double uh, in the world to come. Come on, somebody. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, when we look at this word temptation, it has uh, a two grand meaning. The first is uh, a the, 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 the solicitation to sin. Uh, and the second is the trial of faith uh, from God's divine protection uh, from situations or circumstances. Uh, James here informs us to let no man say when he is tempted or solicited to sin, I am tempted of God because God cannot be tempted with evil. Uh, because when you are, are solicited to sin successfully, uh, you are drawn away by your own lust uh, by giving way to the evil tendency in your heart and, and do that which you were solicited to do by the enemy of your soul. Come on, somebody. 
somebody uh, uh, because the devil, come on, and I say this all the time, because if the devil can get your mind, your body comes free. Uh, good God Almighty, looking at more, looking, looking at this a little more clear, looking at a more clear understanding of being drawn away by your own lust and enticed. Uh, there is, there is a double metaphor or a double analogy of comparison. You come on and go with me and let's look at this. A uh, uh, matter of fact, the first refers to the dragging of a fish out of the water by a hook, uh, which the fish has swallowed up. Come on, somebody. Because the hook was concealed uh, or hidden with bait in order to receive, to deceive and capture the fish. Uh, and we have to be careful uh, in these times of trials and troubles. Uh, secondly, re second re refers to the enticements uh, of impure women who draw away uh, uh, the careless, uh, inattentive, uh, absent-minded, and uh, unwatchable of uh, those men who get caught in their snares and get involved in their ruin. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, uh, these types of unacceptable connections and every word that James uses refers to various expressions uh, that is appealing to the sin nature uh, into which we were born. Uh, you do know that we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Uh, and when the evil uh, and when the evil natural tendency uh, to behave in a particular way, e in a, a particularly evil way of works are unchecked, tell the, tell the devil, I'm going to keep myself in check. Uh, come on, somebody. And we have to realize that it brings forth sin and the evil act between the parties are perpetrated. Come on, somebody. Sin, myself. So my sin, sin is a small matter in its commencement, uh, but, in, but, but the indulgence in it grows greatly and multiplies itself beyond all calculation. Uh, and what we have to realize, my brothers and sisters, uh, is that which uh, that which is conceived in the mind and finished in that in that purpose is consummated by the act. Because because if if the devil gets your mind, your body comes free. Come on, somebody, stop by to tell you that every good and perfect gift comes from above. I'm almost done now, uh, but whatever is good is from God because he is the only source of all goodness and uh, perfection. Uh, uh, whatever is uh, from man, come on, whatever is evil is from man himself. Come on, somebody, because God is never affected by the changes and chances to which mortal things are exposed. Uh, look to your neighbor and tell you God is not exposed to this, uh, uh, but he, because he is uh, on our side. Uh, uh, he occupies no no one place uh, in the universe because he fills the heavens and the earth. Uh, everywhere he is, everywhere present at all time. Uh, he sees all, uh, he, per he pervades all, and he shines up upon, upon all, dispensing his blessings equally to the just and uh, the unjust. Uh, tell your neighbor, God is on our side. Uh, he hates nothing uh, that he has made because everything he's made he's declared it to be good. Uh, uh, he is loving to every man and his tender mercies are all, uh, all uh, over all uh, his work. Uh, he is not affected with evil. Come on, somebody. Nor does he tempt or influence any man to sin. Uh, and the reason is because God is on our side. Uh, I'm on my way out now because uh, the sun rises and sets continually. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, continually continually to time uh, and uh, the length of the time uh, in which it rises uh, in, in the course of 365 days uh, revolving around the sun uh, by which is light uh, and he covers all of us as inhabitants of the earth uh, constantly uh, increasing and decreasing. Uh, look to your neighbor uh, and tell your neighbor. Uh, but God, uh, God Almighty, the creator and preserver of all things, uh, is eternally the same yesterday, today, and will be forevermore. Uh, because God is uh, on our side, uh, dispensing uh, his good and perfect 
gifts, uh, his earthly and heavenly blessings uh, to all his creatures, uh, ever clouded in himself, uh, nulling evil, uh, counseling out the bad, uh, and willing good uh, upon all those that love him. Look to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, uh, God is uh, on our side, uh, men, women, and children uh, may hide themselves uh, from his light by the works of darkness, uh, as like owls uh, and bats uh, that hide themselves uh, in the dens and caves uh, during the prevailing of the solar light. Uh, to God Almighty, uh, but his goodwill uh, to his creatures uh, are permanent. And I'm going on now uh, because uh, through all we've been through, uh, through the storms and the rain, uh, the sleet and the snow, uh, the ice and all that we've encountered, uh, uh, busted pipes uh, and flooded rooms. Uh, stop by to tell you uh, God is uh, on our side. Uh, no matter what you're going through, uh, just hold on. Uh, a little while longer uh, because uh, help is on the way. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, you made it through the cold uh, and the storms. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, look to your neighbor uh, and tell your neighbor, God is uh, on our side. Uh, he's able uh, yeah, uh, to keep you warm uh, when there's no heat in the place. Uh, he's able uh, to provide for you uh, when it seemed like everything is gone. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, we need to realize uh, that God is, uh, God is uh, our provider. Uh, that's why the Bible said, uh, good God Almighty, uh, that he is uh, our provider uh, and he gives us uh, everything we need. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, yeah, no matter what you're going through, uh, just remember yourself uh, God's grace uh, is sufficient uh, just hold on uh, a little while longer uh, and everything uh, everything will be all right uh, yeah tell your neighbor God is God is uh, on my side I, I still got my good health uh, I still got my right mind I still got the activities uh, of my limb I, I'm still able uh, to clap my hands and give the Lord some praise. I'm still able to shout hallelujah, good God Almighty. I'm still able to live, move, and have my being because God is on my side. Good God Almighty, still able to go down on bending knees uh, to make my request made known uh, unto God, uh, thinking, uh, good God Almighty, uh, those things uh, which are true, uh, those things which are right, uh, those things which are honest, uh, but good God Almighty, uh, but if there be uh, any praise, uh, there be uh, any virtue, uh, we've got to think uh, on these things, uh, good God Almighty, uh, that on the other side, uh, there'll be a good report. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, to tell somebody, uh, tell somebody, uh, don't hold on, uh, just hold on uh, a little while longer, uh, because God is uh, on our side. Uh, is there anybody here that loves the Lord? Uh, you need to tell the devil, uh, you can come at me uh, all you want, uh, just like the writer said, uh, Joe said, though he slay me, uh, yet shall I trust him, uh, just trust uh, in the Lord uh, and everything uh, will be all right uh, because uh, God is, uh, yes he is, uh, God is, uh, I know he is, uh, God is, uh, he's on our side, uh, yeah, come on, give the Lord some praise in here, he's worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised, he's worthy to be praised. We're going to come back next week because we need to realize that 
people of God need to realize. This world needs to realize. Even those that don't yet believe need to realize that God is on our side. And he wants us. He longs for us. He desires for us to lean and depend on him. We depend on everything and everybody. But do we, how are we going to learn to really depend on God? And realize that God is on our side. He's on your side. He's on my side. And because he's brought us this far by faith. Come on, give him some praise. For he's worthy to be praised. Son of God, we thank you right now. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your deliverance into our lives. We thank you for the revelation on this day to help us to realize that no matter how dark it may seem, no matter what we're going through, that you are on our sides. Heavenly Father, we pray now that you will lift us up where we belong. In spite of the situations and circumstances that surrounds uh, this state, this city, these lives of your people, this country, Lord, this world, in spite of everything, we know that you are on our side. Now, Master, we pray, Lord, that this word has fallen into fertile soil. Pray that it takes, takes root and spring forth and bring good fruit, that you may be, that you may be glorified and worship in the newness of life. In Jesus' name, keep us in perfect peace and love. My Lord Jesus, hear our prayer and grant us thy peace. In Jesus' name, and all the people of God said amen. amen. God bless you. God keep you. There may be someone you have come to your wit's end. And you, you have not yet come to realize in the fullness of your heart, soul, that God is able. You, you said, you said, uh, you said, you you think it, but do you really believe it? This is your opportunity, and if you haven't, if you haven't given your life to Christ and you have not committed your life to Him, this is your opportunity. But no matter what you're going through, God is able. He's able to see you through any and every situation. He's able. And I'm not telling you something that somebody told me. I've experienced it for myself. And I'm still experiencing his goodness, his grace, and his mercy every day of my life. If, if I wasn't, I wouldn't be able to share it with you. Confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Change your mind. Turn from the ways that you're going and turn into the way of righteousness trusting and believing in God the power of his word and the manifestation of his holiness and his power of the Holy Ghost in your life right now in the name of Jesus we thank God for you and for those of you that so desire to sow into this ministry because this ministry is a blessing to you you have an opportunity through Cash Out, PayPal, or USPS, United States uh, Postal Service. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, you can uh, send your check or money order to the St. Paul Primitive Baptist Church located at 2209 East 14th Street, Austin, Texas, 78702. And you send it. We don't, we don't beg or plead you for, but, but you know what God is doing in your life. You know what he's doing in this ministry to bless you in your life. And, and the blessings that, that are on this ministry falls on you. Come on, somebody. We thank God for you today. We continue to ask your blessings and your prayers upon the work and the hand of the work of this ministry. Lives will continue to be transformed. But not by not because not because I'm the pastor or the preacher, but because there is life in the power of the word of God, transforming power. Believe that. And remember, God is on your side. God bless you today, and God keep you is our prayer. Praise him. Praise him.
Praise your name, Jesus. 